Okay, guys, here we are. We're at the tcc.fl.edu website. Um, this is just the main page. Click right here where it says resources. Then go down a little bit further and then click on library right there. And then this gives you this main um, articles, oh, this main search, but this is gonna give you books and other things that you don't really want. So what do you wanna do is keep going down here and then you click on um, databases. So you click on databases and then you will want to figure out what your topic is and then you may want to um, uh, click wherever you think something that would be interesting to you, okay? So I'm interested in like strange things sometimes like obelisks or um, UFOs or something like that. And so I'm going to see if I Google uh, New York Times, I'm going into New York Times and I just wonder if they have anything on, oh, I've already typed it, obelisk. And then I'm gonna put here Utah because I think the first one that disappeared, that was there and then disappeared was in Utah. So now I'm gonna search and um, let's see if there's anything that, let's see. Do, 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 do. Hmm, I don't really see anything on obelisks that I'm interested in, okay? But this is not really for that. Instead, this is just to um, help you figure out how to work it. So I'm gonna say, okay, let's choose this one. So I'm gonna click right here, and it's gonna give me an article. And if I was trying to figure out why certain ob uh, obelisks have disappeared, have arrived and then disappeared, this would not work for me, right? Because I can see right here, this looks like, first of all, it was written in 1984. So it has something to do about uh, Normandy, uh, blues on the beach, I don't, you know, World War II. So this really has nothing to do with what I'm looking for. But I can still use it for, the, for, my, um, for one of my 10 that I have to have, one of the five from here. So I click on full text uh, down here. That's the abstract. I click on full text. I'd be able to, where's the full text? Sorry. Oh, full text PDF. So I could click on that and it would take me there. And then when I'm ready to cite it, all I do is click on the citation, make sure that I change this to MLA, click there. And there is my citation. So I copy it and paste it into my work cited. So I would copy it and paste it like this into my work cited. I'd go down into my document. Do I have a document? And paste it. You can see here that the hanging indent has disappeared. Um, you can either just put in hanging indent um, or click until you get to your left, to your hanging indent, and then move over five spaces, and that's the first one. So I have my doc, I have my first uh, citation. I go down here, um, I tab over, and I put my description, whatever my description is. Sorry, I'm just this summer, you know, this, this document, blah, blah, blah. So I would put it in there um, and then I would go and do the next one. You make sure that all of your annotated bibliography citations in your annotated bibliography are in alphabetical order. I will also include for you guys what it's supposed to look like when it's done so that you'll know what it is supposed to look like. So if you have any questions, anyway, so this is the end of this video. If you have any questions, if you have any comments, if you need my help, please do not hesitate to contact me um, and let me know, oh, I don't understand, or oh, I need help, and I'm happy to help you. Thanks a lot. I hope you have a great day. Be sure to wear your masks, wash your hands, and um, have a good week. Take care. Bye-bye.